football programs around our area are gearing up for their first week of games, but one has to prepare in the dark. WIT 42 News reporter Nick Goulas found one team who hits a field with no lights each night. It's the final practice before the first game for the Wyland football teams. They managed to escape most of the heat by starting practice around 6, but as the sun goes down, the lights don't come up. The lights have been out, out here for at least a year and a half, almost two years. And it causes a few issues for Coach Malik's team. Where it's not safe, that's the first thing. It's not safe. We have people's kids out here, and we want to be able to keep an eye on everyone's kids. Vincent Presley, the president of the Wyland Youth Football Association, echoes those sentiments. About we being more aware of what's going on out here. Some kid, something might run off or something, we, we can see them, you know, you know, we can catch it earlier than in the dark. We cannot see them, you know. And the issues go beyond football. Wyland Park is technically open until 10 o'clock every night, and the lack of light is a cause for concern over community safety. Basketball court, there's no lights on there. Anything can happen over there. We can't patrol nothing in the dark. And it'd be dangerous for Birmingham police if something ever happened out here. They can't be seen. Even without the light, the coaches still manage to keep spirits high. As far as the atmosphere is great. We don't have no problems out here amongst parents, kids, or anyone else. But as the night goes on, as you can see, we have to kind of shut it down a little bit early. In Wylam, Nick Goulas, WIAT 42 News, coverage you can count on. Birmingham Parks and Rec says there is paperwork in-house asking for the repairs, but they cannot be made without consulting the Neighborhood Association. The next meeting will be on September 2nd.